Hello, and thank you for watching Action Toy Spotlight, where we'll be shining our spotlight on the True Heroes Sentinel-1 attack submarine. We're going to begin with the most obvious downside of this set. The cartoonish, bright stickers make the submarine of limited use to anyone seeking realism in their collection. A particularly odd sticker choice was the portholes featuring silhouettes of crewmen, especially given that the other side features transparent portholes. Though it would take customizing skills to really make this vehicle look realistic, simply removing the stickers would make a significant improvement. Looking further, this set includes another problem commonly found with this company, interiors heavily lacking in detail. This problem is most evident in the forward compartment, which includes the barest suggestion of seating. With this set at least, unlike with many of the other sets, this fact can easily be overlooked as the compartment is fully covered and most of us will probably prefer to stand a figure in the conning tower. The main compartment, which is accessed by thumbing a slide behind the conning tower and lifting up, is a little better in that regard. It includes not only proper seating for four figures, but also a computer panel with molded scuba gear that attaches to the front wall. Three of the seats are jump seat style and can flip up to allow the compartment to be used for storage. A particularly nice feature of the jump style seating allows you to store weapons for your figures. A final compartment aft holds 12 missiles and launch tubes to simulate vertical launch. The attack submarine comes with two fixed nose guns, two pieces simulating four externally mounted torpedoes, and two larger torpedoes which include spring mechanisms to launch the missiles located in the vertical launch compartment. The set does not come with these two extra missiles. The external torpedoes can be removed, but not easily, and they're clearly meant to stay on the submarine. The sub includes a periscope and snorkel which can be lowered and raised, and though it's an odd choice, there's a door on the port side of the sub that drops down just like the True Heroes AB-115 Shark plane, which surprisingly shares a similar layout. Not having read the box, we noticed the next feature of this set completely by accident. Though it has a smaller footprint than the AB-115, the attack submarine is still quite large, to the point we think of it more as a playset than a vehicle. But when we pushed it aside while cleaning, we realized the screw turns when the submarine is rolled along on the wheels. The set comes with two figures, which as usual are not of much use to most collectors. However, the diver that comes with this set has extra ankle articulation, allowing his feet to pivot up and down to simulate swimming. Included for these figures are the usual oversized weapons that we here at Action Toy Spotlight use for our 6-inch scale figures, and a table with a tactical map that's best used with the jump seats folded up. The sub features light and sound effects. Sound effects include sonar pings, an alarm, explosions, and what we're guessing are engine noises. As are many of the True Hero sets, the attack submarine is a unique toy. There is simply no other choice for a large-scale submarine on shelves, and even if just for that reason it's worth picking up. 